what's up everybody uh, it's another day of this journey and it is four o'clock in the morning I'm super tired very sleepy and I am getting up so I can go train a client try to make some money and after that I'm gonna go hit my um, fasted cardio so I apologize if you guys are watching this and I look like crap but it's literally four o'clock in the morning and I just rolled out of bed but took my BCAAs uh, my multivitamins and I'm on my way gotta go kill it alright What is up, my people? It is currently seven o'clock in the morning, and I am pumped. I'm pumped to Christian music. Uh, I know it sounds funny to a lot of people, but um, man, this song, There Is Power. There Is Power in the Name of Jesus gets me going. And it's just the fact that I love Jesus Christ so much. And I am thankful every single day for the opportunity to be able to inspire some of you guys out there and share my knowledge, my experience, my journey <clears throat> with you guys. That's a blessing every single day for me just because I love doing this. This is my passion and I just feel alive. And it's crazy because if you guys see this clip, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning and I'm just like looking like crap, you know? And not even wanting to be on camera or anything like that, you know? But I got up. Train my client. Actually, I trained. Uh, yeah, I trained my client, and I did my cardio, and I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Why? Because I feel alive, and it's crazy. Exercise, Jesus, everything around me just seems so much more alive, more beautiful, and it's just. I don't know if it just sounds like I'm just having some crazy talk or something, but I don't know. Uh, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful. Uh, thankful for another day thankful for just having my health you know my all the blessings I have having a car having a cell phone having a roof over my head food every single day there's so many people living in poverty and it's crazy you know that we take so much stuff for granted but anyhow um, I am gonna keep you guys posted on today today is a little bit of a special day um, I'm gonna take Myra out on a date. It's been a while since we've been on a date. Well, no, I'm not gonna say a while, but you know, just I've been so caught up with all this stuff, uh, you know, with the fitness stuff. And I figured um, I'll take her out for some sushi, nice little date, and um, it's a cheat meal date. So, I mean, sushi's not that bad, but still, you know, we've been craving it. I was just, normally I do pizza all the time. <laughs> we love pizza, but um, you know, I'm gonna take her out. Uh, for some sushi and I'm thinking we might go out dancing somewhere uh, locally there's this bar that's local they have a uh, DJ and they play some a uh, little bit of Latin music a little bit of hip-hop and here and there so I am gonna be filming all that so you guys can see that side of me too and you know like I said I'm trying to share as much as possible even my personal side so you guys see what I deal with every day and um, that's that um, just pumped I'm pumped <laughs> and uh, anyhow um, I hope you guys have a blessed day y un saludo a todos mis latinos espero que uh, estén mirando mis videos de YouTube y les quiero dar gracias a todos por uh, el soporte grande que me han dado por todos estos años y uh, espero que les estoy haciendo uh, que se sientan orgullosos de lo, de lo que estoy haciendo porque estoy tratando lo más um, 
estoy tratando con todo, con todas mis ganas, uh, tratar de inspirar el mundo con mi, uh, con mi vida, los cambios que he hecho y todo. Pero uh, un beso grande a toda mi comunidad latina y que Dios los bendiga. It is Friday and it is motherfucking date night <laughs> going down today. Myra, how do you feel about date night? I'm excited. You excited about tonight? Yes. What are you gonna eat? Um, sushi. Everything and anything you can? Yes. <laughs> sushi. Where are we going? Um, maybe to that one place down the street, Nikos. Mikos. Miko sounds pretty damn good. We've never been there before, but we heard it was good, so we're gonna yeah, give it a shot. Definitely some good reviews. And it's down our blah 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 down the street from our home. Exactly. So. And hopefully we can go out dancing because I know Myra's been wanting to go dancing for quite some time now. Yes. And I'm not much of a dancer, but I'm willing to sacrifice to make my woman happy. So it should be a pretty good day, I hope. Uh, we're on our way to drop off Myra. Once again, this is my routine every morning, right after I come home from uh, fasted cardio. Gotta get food ready, breakfast ready for myself and for her. Since she always wakes up pretty late. <laughs> but um, should be uh, should be a good day and I'll keep you guys posted on everything. Today's workout, I still haven't decided what I wanna work out. I don't usually really have a routine where I follow it weekly, where it's like Monday chest, uh, Tuesday back, or so and so. I just kind of go with the flow, whatever I feel like I need to work on more, um, I do. So I'll keep you guys posted on that workout, and it should be good regardless of what we do. Most likely, I think it might be chest. So chest and shoulders maybe again, since we need to touch up, uh, at least I need to touch up on my rear delts a bit. So. Keep you guys posted. All right, meal number one. We've got a little bit of chicken breast. There's a little bit of uh, white potatoes and sweet potatoes. I just like to mix it up a little bit. CLA, super enzymes, probiotics. What's up, guys? So, I am actually editing. Sorry about that. I was 40, um, editing one of my uh, videos 60, that I'm going to be posting for day one. And I'm actually listening to Rich Piano. Potatoes, God damn it. And these were, how much were these? 60 grams, I think, or 40? Yeah. I'm actually a really big uh, fan of Rich Piano. I think the guy's very knowledgeable. Um, it's actually kind of sad that a lot of people don't really listen to the shit that he has to say, but the guy is fucking knowledgeable, and I gotta give uh, Rich Piano a big shout out for, um, for the feeder workouts because. He's the person where I actually found, uh, actually, he made a video about feeder workouts and I looked into him and that's when I started trying it. And this stuff's been around forever, it's just that not too many people believe in it or want to try it or fucking do whatever it takes, you know, to get fucking results and shit like that, you know, because you gotta be doing it every fucking night. And it is a pain in the ass, like I mentioned before, but, you know, shit works. Um, anyhow... I am actually um, going over some of the stuff that I did for the workouts, for my shoulder workout, and I'll give you guys a little bit of a sample. Anyhow, um, you guys will definitely check that out. Um, it should be pretty fun. And it looks like I've got my work cut out for me because it's a shitload of freaking editing. But hopefully I can get this up in the next day or so. So be patient and hope you guys are enjoying all this. Um, one thing I did want to touch up and uh, talk about, someone made a comment about um, this past uh, September 
uh, October and November is when I did most of my photo shoots and I had this crazy freaking size uh, gap from my show from my first photo shoot to my following photo shoot which was a month of a gap difference and it's crazy because the very first uh, photo shoot that I did um, I looked super lean and ripped but I you know I kind of felt like I looked too skinny or like you know really flat um, like I don't know like my muscles kind of def deflated or some shit you know so what I did is on my second photo shoot which was with uh, Brett Seeley I freaking looked about two times bigger I would say um, twice the size and what I did is I did my own carb load it was my first time experimenting um, doing a prep by myself um, all I did was just take stuff that I uh, learned from other past coaches and stuff that kind of just made logical sense to me um, so what I did is I actually started off with um, what was it I think it was about 600 uh, I think it was around 600 carbohydrates on the um, on the load. Went from 600, 500, 400 on the day of the show, um, which is a shitload of fucking carbs because I didn't even have that much even when I did my show, or any of my past shows, yeah. Um, but these were this is about three days out when I started loading up, and um, about two to three days I believe. Um, anyhow, that filled me up like crazy and just felt like my body wanted that food and it just went straight into my muscle and freaking inflated me like crazy um so since i uh did reduce water um my body had no choice but to use up all the carbohydrates and just you know fill me up so a little bit of sugar from uh my glycojet that i did for my pump got me all vascular and everything it was great anyhow um you guys want to know more about that i can make a video and show you guys how to how i um prep myself for a photo shoot um how to do a mega carb load so if you guys are interested go ahead and drop a comment on this video and just let me know that you guys are interested and i'll touch up a little bit more about that but anyhow i'm gonna get back to work and i am about to get my next meal in all right all right so meal number two chicken breast olive oil one tablespoon olive oil and 176 grams of white potato they're baked and they've got a little bit of mrs. dash on them they're actually really good uh, one CLA super enzymes shit's going down all right I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this meal and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit all right so yesterday I showed you guys how to do my pre-workout my inter-workout uh, shakes and I didn't get a chance to actually show you guys what I do for the post-workout shake whenever you're on the go and you can't get to a meal so Rice Krispies whey protein digestive enzyme okay this is just rice and sugar so it's just perfect for post-workout all right so what I'm doing I'll take some of that. It's so freaking good, by the way. I usually just throw this inside just because I always forget to take them if I'm on the go. I won't take them with me, and if I do take them with me, I just won't eat them. So, throw that in there, and I'll just blend in with the flavors. Alright, it's 
workout time. We're gonna hit chest today. I really wanted to do arms, but I think we'll leave that for the next following video. So we're gonna do uh, chest, and I'm probably gonna start warming up with my shoulders. One thing you guys will notice, the way I train is, I really try to bring out my shoulder um, width my caps and along with my upper chest so whenever I'm doing uh, shoulders I'll start with chest as a warm-up and whenever I'm uh, hitting chest vice versa anyhow um, I usually do maybe about four to five uh, warm-up sets of that target muscle so we're just gonna go kill it it looks like Myers carb loading on some rice cakes I am I am we're good to go let's do it look at this shit this is what I have to put up with when I diet. Myra's, oh, she's got her cheat meal going. And what do you got there, Myra? A shrimp burrito from Rubio's. Looks fucking bomb. It's really good. And it smells delicious. And this is right before my damn workout. All right, well, enjoy it.
picture that we are hearts under fire And we hold our grudges if we can't just win these Workout meal, Rice Krispies and whey protein, digestive enzyme. Um, today was a pretty good workout. We're gonna go home, shower up. Myra's still eating her food. <laughs> My post-workout chips and salsa. Exactly for gains. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go uh, take a shower, get our last meal in. And we are gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna hit those uh, feeder workouts for my arms. Um, rem remember guys, uh, if you guys are, have a uh, lacking area, these are amazing for that. So make sure like if your arms are small and you're trying to bring them up or shoulders, whatever it is that you're trying to do, feeder workouts will definitely help, but you have to do them every single night, every single day. All right, most people aren't willing to do whatever it takes to get those type of results. I know I am. So I am not gonna film all this just because I'm trying to cut down on the time on my videos because they're getting way too long. So there's, it's really not necessary for me to be showing the exact same thing over and over again. You guys kind of get the point of what I'm doing, but I'll just highlight uh, my day and show you guys what it is that I'm doing. So I hope you guys have a good night. Uh, keep on believing, believing in yourselves and we're on a mission to get fit and super fucking shredded, all right? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me at Luis Montoya Fit. 
drop a comment on the video if you guys have any questions once again or message me I'm more than willing to help you guys out with any questions you guys have all right so we are about to go dancing and it's date night and Myra looks absolutely gorgeous it's a little spin look at that she's all dressed up Thank I think you. she finally outdressed me she looks amazingly beautiful and I think it's gonna be a really good night let me get this for you my lady Welcome. Okay, so we just got our food and it looks delicious. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is that we got, but this is like a crispy sushi roll. Um, this is a shrimp sushi roll. And I think this is like a spicy tuna with avocado. Like we really one. don't know. We just asked her to bring us whatever tastes good. Yeah, something like that. But, um, looks delicious and we are about to grow up. I think Maya's got some uh, ramen right over there. And it looks great. Um, I'm ready to dig in. Yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> She is hungry and we are going to say a prayer right before we, um, we eat and it looks like Maya digged into it already so shame on her, Jesus is watching me. <laughs> Anyways, um, catch you guys in a bit. Okay, um, I'm about to dig in here. I'm not much of a sushi eater because I don't eat sushi very often but let's see what they taste salt. I can actually just hold it. So. Use your fingers. You're like, I keep calling somebody and talk to them. You're still trying to sell it. That is delicious. It's like a spicy shrimp. What's on? Pretty good. Not as good as the other one. It's probably the fact that it's a uh, deep fried. Excuse me. Last one. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta say, this is my favorite. Alright, so. Give it a little try, Maya. I'm too into the edamame right now. <laughs> it's garlic, so Luis is gonna love my kisses. <laughs> Alright, we just got done dancing, having dinner, and everything. It was a really, really fun night. Um, a little tired. I still have one more meal to go. I'm very tired. My feet hurt. Her feet hurt. But it was really fun. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. And um, it is pretty late. But I'm going to go home. I'm going to get my last meal in and uh, do my feet or workout. Can't forget to do that. As much as I want to skip it, I can't.